I could go in. Let's see, I'm going to the wrong place here. Switch over to web. Maybe I want to learn a little bit more about tapas. So I'll go into the Wikipedia view of tapas. Let the page load up. Here we have the new Internet Explorer browser. The new Internet Explorer browser is based on Internet Explorer for the desktop. This is a brand new browser. This isn't being pulled forward from older versions of uh, Windows Mobile 6.5 or 6.0. It's a brand new browser with a new engine in it. Now, we've done some really neat things here. I can simply tap on things to zoom directly in on items. So I can zoom right in on that picture. I can pinch zoom in and out. Or actually hit a link on accident, I guess. Go back to that one. for where I hit on the page because there's a lot of links in there. So I can pinch zoom in and out if I want to. The phone support, uh, multi-touch. As I zoom in really tight, notice how the text also is very legible, very readable. This is basically us taking clear type to the next level. So as I zoom in, it stays really clear. As I zoom back out, I can actually view the web pages that would kind of look on my desktop and it's still very legible, very clear, very readable. So we've gone to ex uh, extensive efforts to create a very uh, very nice, pleasurable environment so that you can actually read the web pages. It's more of a delightful experience when you're working with them. Very performant browser. I can pan up and down, move around the screen. Everything is, uh, all of our phones will be capacitive touch. Let's jump back over here to the start screen. So that's just an idea of how, how we've kind of integrated some of the experiences within the phone. Or within the phone. Let's take a look at the next thing that we've done. We've created hubs. Now hubs are another key component of our metro design system. Um, hubs are places where you can access a set of your related content. Um, this is a unique feature for Windows 7 series. Uh, phones that weaves together applications, services, our applications and services in a consistent way that makes sense, making your everyday tasks easier using fewer steps. So people, for one thing, is a hub. So as I tap on people, perhaps the first thing I want to point out, is notice all the pictures that are rotating through in the people tile? Those are actually pictures of my contacts. Those aren't random shots of people that are, that are part of the phone. Those are actually contact pictures from my contacts that are cycling through. So as I select people, it's going to put me right into the people hub. The first thing I have on people hub are the people that I've recently looked at. So whether I've talked to them on the phone, uh, shared a comment on their Facebook, sent them an email or a text message, these are, the, these are my most recent uh, people that I've worked with. I swipe over to the left, across this panoramic view that I have, and I have the ability to go down through my contacts. I can search through my contacts very easily. I can pan across one more time, and I can get an integrated view of my Facebook feeds all right here, so I can see what's happening with my friends across the board on my social network feed. So Facebook, Windows Live, and so on. This is gonna be displayed down here. If I wanted to, I could add a comment with a single tap and simply post a quick comment to Jim's uh, Facebook account. If I wish, I'll swipe back over here. I can move across and find various contacts down here as well. So I can come down to Kay's, I tap into Katie, for instance. I move down into Katie Jordan, I have access to all her information like you would, like you would expect but I can also swipe across and see what's new with just Katie on her from her social network feeds. So I can see what's happening there. So she's posted some pictures and she's added some different comments here. I'll back back out here. So again, as I have the people hub, I can move around. It sort of just makes a circular rotation. I can move all the way back to the start, move either direction, whichever way I want within the people hub. So there's, there's how I can stay in contact with people. And any person that I like, step back in there really quick. Any person I like, say Alan here at the top, if I wanted to pin Alan to the home page or to the start screen, I can hit that little heart at the bottom. So this little heart at the bottom represents making them a favorite. The, one that, the next one looks like a little guy wearing headphones to me. It's a link button. So if I have multiple contacts for, for, uh, for Alan here, Say I have Alan in my 
in my Outlook email. I have Alan as a Facebook contact. Maybe I have Alan as a Windows Live contact. I can link all three of those contacts together into a single view on my phone very quickly and very easily. Or obviously I can edit him. Or I can pop him up and I can delete Alan if I don't like him anymore. Now, next one I want to show you is the Games Hub. So I'll pop into the Games Hub. Now the Games Hub is integrated with Windows Live. And Windows Live gives me a whole bunch of different content that I can access. First thing I have are things like my games collection. Now these games are available, are, are what I have on my phone, different games that I can play. Uh, some are solo, some I can play with other people interactively. I have access to the Xbox Live Spotlight. I can learn about new game releases or different things that are happening on Xbox Live. If I move across again, I have access to my Xbox Live status. So I've got my avatar, I've got my uh, um, recent, uh, recent achievement down here, or I've also got access to my points. So I can talk to my friends about it and show that off. And at the last pa panel here, I have different requests. So I have an invitation to play a game, or it's also my turn to play a game on a card game. So I can play turn-based games against other friends on their phones, or on, on their Xboxes across Xbox Live. So this is prompting me, it's my turn, because I'm waiting for a cab or waiting at the airport. I can play interactive games against my friends. Another swipe puts me back to the starting panel. Pictures is a really big feature for phones and, and uh, in everybody's lives. So what we've done is we've taken a lot of effort to make the pictures experience very nice and very integrated. So right off the bat, I have access to my, I have my gallery. I have access to my albums or my favorites or all of my photos. As I move across the panoramic here in the hub, I can see the photos from a, from a uh, album that I've recently looked at. So this is the last album that I've worked in or looked at any photos in. Another one across there, and I have access to my other Facebook feeds. I just booted up the phone here, so it's going to take a second. It's going to pull down some new, some new feeds for me. There we go. Now, these are filtered by photos only. So this will show me updates, new photos that people have uploaded to their Windows Live or their Facebook accounts. I don't get the other various comments that are going on. I just get the pictures. I can select any of these pictures. It's going to download the picture, and I can quickly add a comment if I wanted to, right up to that side. It'll get posted up to Facebook, and I can move on with, with things. Back to the gallery, I can go into albums. Here, if I tap it. In albums, I've got access to the photos that are on my phone up at the top. So I've got a family hike, different family uh, albums, or things from Lucy's birthday. And these are pictures I've got on my phone that I may have synced over from my PC. As I scroll down, I also have some different photos that are on different folders on Facebook and Windows Live. So these, these albums are being pulled down across the net. These are, these are items that I posted up to the web, maybe not from my phone, but from my PCs. And this information is being pulled down by the phone automatically so I can easily go in and view different things, like different pictures from Pike Place Market. So like I said, these don't live on the phone. It gives me a very seamless integrated experience for the user. I don't have to worry about where these pictures are coming from. All I know is that I have access to these pictures, all from my phone, no matter where I'm at, and no matter where they're posted up there. So it starts out as a little bit of a rough picture, and then it'll pull the rest of it in, it clears up, and it gets, it gets uh, much sharper. So there we go. And again, I can easily comment on that photo or move across and check out the next photo if I want to. So that's what we've done to photos, a very nice integrated experience again for everybody. Now, 